Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Um, I'm bringing, bringing you guys today a travel journal. I had seen Teresa Collins, that's her name, I almost forgot her name. She had made a travel journal and I thought, I want to make one of those. So I created my own and, um, and it was funny, a couple weeks ago I wanted to make some of these so when, to kind of put, have, make journals out of some of the trips we've gone on in the past. And then my husband a couple weeks ago surprised me for my birthday and I'm like, oh my God, I can totally use those travel journals I just created. So anyway, that was great. So I'm going to go through, and um, I haven't completely filled this one up. I put um, some pictures of a past trip when my child was like, um, when my daughter was like 10, now she's like 17. But I put some of those pictures from when we went to Disneyland. And I'm working on the one right now, because I made two of these. I'm working on the other one um, of us going on our trip to California. We went to Pismo, um... Pismo Beach, San Luis Obispo, areas like that in California are really awesome. My favorite place in California to go. And uh, my goal is to someday definitely move, move there. Out of Vegas to California. Specifically like Pismo or San Luis Obispo. So anyway, moving on. Um, let's get to the journal. Uh, I'm going to take these out of the pocket and I'll share those with you guys later, okay? Just so we can go through it. Um, I used a regular three-ring binder. Real cheap, $1.99 that I got at Walmart. This is, I'm going to bring it closer, the Tim Holtz Craft Resist Paper. Isn't that stuff cool? Kind of show you in the light. Let me turn a couple more lights on. Oops, sorry guys. All right, there we go. So you can kind of see. Isn't that neat? So what it does is this paper resists some of the uh, Tim Holtz either distress paints or inks, and I use distress paints. Okay? This right here is uh, the binder. I took a piece of paper um, and sewed it to canvas paper. Okay, you can see the stitches right there. See? And then I, uh, mo I put some Mod Podge to give it some shine to make it look like leather, but it's paper. Again, I did the same thing back here to the Distress with the Tim Holtz paint, and then I went ahead and did a lot of stamping. Okay. All right, on the front, let's go back to the front. This is a Tim Holtz die cut. Oh, I should mention, everything in here is basically Tim Holtz. I use Tim Holtz papers, Tim Holtz die cuts, pretty much everywhere. Okay, also, um, this is a Tim Holtz. I'm going to bring it closer. This is a Tim Holtz die cut, and I absolutely love this idea. I got it from Art So Craft. Let's see if I can bring it up a little closer. Uh, maybe right there is fine. So I die cut, I, I used Tim Holtz die cut, I embossed it, and then I used embossing ink over it. Isn't it pretty? It's all sparkly. And then, okay, for, I have a, um, as most of you know, I have a Etsy shop called My Fairy Treasures. And I sell these metal pieces in my shop. So I used a round filigree piece, and you guys, for the wheels. And that's what I got from Arts of Craft. She always takes all of her, like, these cards, these old jalopy cars, and she uses metal embellishments to really jazz it up. And I think it's really neat. So I use this round filigree piece. And then these little clocks, you guys, these are in my shop. Are these the most adorable things ever? They're the most, they're, they're, I think they're the, my, the most favorite thing that I sell in there. Okay, so I use those as my wheels. Then I took this piece here, which is like a square filigree, and I cut it in half, and here's the other half. I use this for like, um, for like the door handle here, and then I use this for the, um, like the grate, like, what do you call that on the front? The front grate where the car is. Okay, I know I'm not saying that right. But you guys know what I mean. Okay, and the window is backed with plastic and some Tim Holtz Distress ink to kind of give it like there's a window there and it's kind of old and aged. I just love these. I make a lot of these. I put them on cards. I put them in all types of projects. Okay, I'm going to back it up. This is a Tim Holtz luggage, and I love this. I embossed these little corners, and I embossed this, and, I embossed, and then I embossed inked it, and I just love it. And I wanted the suitcase to be sitting like on the car, like how people used to always travel, all their luggage on top of the car. I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, and then I just have some things here. Let me just show you that was inside. This is from the Tim Holtz paper. Just little tags. You could actually do some journaling on the back. This is just a, looks like an old map. I folded up. I folded this up to look like another old map. You know, because you're going on vacation, you need a map. Well, not really, we use our phones. But anyway, and we don't even use our phone. My husband knows how to get all over California where we go. And then this looks like a ticket, Tim Holtz ticket that I distressed. Okay? So, and I took that and I used a paper clip that I Tim Holtz distress inked because I love doing that. And paper clipped it all together to keep it. So, all right, let's get into the goodies. 
Again, so I don't keep being redundant, this is pretty much all Tim Holtz paper and um, in this, so just to let you guys know. Okay, these are pockets, library pockets that I made, and I kind of created my own, not the concept of a library pocket, but how I made them. It was my own idea, and you can use any scrap paper, so I'm going to do a tutorial on this. And how I make them also with hinges, look how much room you have. You have a lot of room to stick a lot of stuff in here. So I will show you guys how to make those. So I'm going to do a tutorial. This is not Tim Holtz, but this was some matte paper, which I really liked. Um, these are pictures. I put a bunch of pictures from a Disneyland trip we went on when my daughter was 10. Like I said, now she's 17. Um, some tickets I distressed. Okay, what I do want to explain, too, is I filled this with file folders. So I guess you could say it's a file folder travel journal. But I made the file folders all different sizes. So I took a regu the regular legal size and I chopped it up. I cut some in half, three-fourths, you know, etc. So that we could get, I could get more interest out of the um, journal. I wanted a lot of, um, I also wanted a lot of interest in the book. Okay. So the first thing is, I, this is a Tim Holtz map. Let me come a little closer. Okay. And you can see I made things different lengths, different widths, just so we get a lot of interaction and a lot of interest. Okay. Um, I made a journal card. I get these at Sam's Club, you guys, and you buy like, I don't know, like a hundred of them for like nine bucks. And the, look, don't they make great journal cards? And then I stamped it and Tim Holtz distressed it. You can journal on that. Um, I made another one of those library pockets. I took, um, I took some brown cardstock, did a stamping and embossing, um, this, uh, gemstone type of stuff got from Michaels everybody sees that and I made it I made a tag a big tag for journaling and then right after I do all the stuff for like journaling here and to be able to store whatever in here like pictures or whatever memorabilia I always will then have that's where I have the folder which I um, decorate with a Tim Holtz paper which you can see there a couple of pictures I already put on there again uh, more Tim Holtz paper and a couple of pictures Okay, so that's how the whole thing's going to go in order. Again, I have, we're going to start all over again. I have, um, the, these are the um, library pockets that I made. Okay. Um, another a tag I made and stamped. Uh, this tag I made, got out of my stash from somewhere, as you kind of see that. Okay, kind of cool, distress that. And see how everything is different, different sizes and lengths, and some stuff I went, I went um, horizontal with. I just think that adds a lot of interest, and I learned that from Teresa Collins to make all this, make all these different sizes and interaction. Um, again, I took a piece of tea dyed paper. Sometimes I use coffee and tea, and I um, up here this is really neat. I took a stencil and I put some. Um, it looks like molding paste, but this isn't. I got this idea from Faith Chick Seven Seven. It's lightweight spackle that you get at Walmart, you guys, and it's dirt cheap, like 3 or $4 for a thing of it, and um, way cheaper than the other stuff you have to buy, like at Michael's or Joann's, and I put it through. Look how cool that turned out. I absolutely love it, okay, and then some more of that um, stuff everybody gets at Michael's, okay, and again, it's a tag, a fancy tag, but it's a tag, so you can do your journaling, and then again, another of the, one of the folders, Tim Holtz, um, matted the whole thing and then of course cute little pictures of my little girl let me show you how she looks like and she just looks so cute she looks so adorable she's 17 now i could cry these are some more cute pictures of her this is all pictures of her at disneyland making little faces just adorable okay going on again we're starting the same way we did last time okay so we ended it with um a folder Again, I uh, this is a um, now this is one I didn't make. This is one I bought um, some library uh, pockets. Here's a library card, which I bought those and distressed them. Um, another little tag. This is another one of those um, library cards I made. Look at how much room you have. You can stick so much stuff in there. Isn't that cool, Tim Holtz paper, you guys? I love it. Again, I made a tag out of crap, brown craft paper. Did some um, stenciling, which you can barely see. Yeah, you really can't see it because of the light. But again, I used another, uh, that's not stenciling. That was um, stamping. I stamped up here. This is stenciling. Stenciling with that um, wall paste I told you about. Yeah, that wall paste you get at Walmart. Lightweight spackles, what it called. it's exactly called. And some of the things that I did stamp, like right here, this says memory is the treasury and 
Wait, memory is the treasury and the guardian of all things. What does that say? Oh, I don't know what the ending says. Oh, that bumps me out. Because it didn't show up. It'll come back across that saying because I used it a couple times. Sorry about that, you guys. Anyway, again, um, I went ahead and this is where you can journal. But on the back of here, I put some pictures. And I put pictures on the back of my journal tag because I had so many pictures I thought went together. I went ahead and used the back of it. I'll use the front of it for journaling and the back if I use for pictures. So it's up to you what you want to do. Um, I got this idea from Teresa Collins, which I think is great. Put the holes right through the picture, see? And just go ahead and put it right into your, um, when you need more room to put more pictures. Isn't that genius? I thought that was a good idea. And I got that from Teresa Collins. Um, again, ending with a file folder. See how big this one is? Much bigger than my other ones, see? And I went ahead and put um, Tim Holtz paper here. Back, I matted it with Tim Holtz paper and then put my daughter's pictures there. You guys look at that paper. All those clocks. Love, obsessed with clocks. Obsessed with Tim Holtz. I love his stuff. Oh, I should mention too, most of the time these are pockets. So I left these open so I put two together so that you could put stuff in there, okay? So I'm sure I did that throughout and I didn't show you guys. Anyway. Moving on, again, I did another tag I made, another envelope I made. You guys, I made this out of book paper. And I will show you guys how to make these too, these envelopes. You can make it out of any size paper. All your scrap paper is saved. I can show you how to make um, these envelopes. And there's no scoring lines and folding, none of that. It's taking two pieces of paper, sandwiching them together with, um, with these, um, oh, I just have the name of it. What is wrong with me today? I can't think of any words. Anyway, I'm going to do a tutorial and I'll show you guys how to make this one too. Okay, again, another library pocket. Show you how that, show you how that opens. See, lots of room. Another one of these um, envelopes that I made. Okay. And I just, oh, and I put a, a paper clip here. So just the envelope stays. It's a rusty paper clip. You know, Tim Holtz did with the alcohol inks. Another journaling tag I made, kind of the same stuff. You guys have been seeing that I explained. Okay, and at the end here, I um, used a file folder and matted that with the Tim Holtz paper. Look how cool the paper is. The paper's fabulous. Again, made another library pocket out of the Tim Holtz paper. Again, another journaling tag. And then, of course, I, um, you know, did my stamping and did my um, emboss, and we're not embossing uh, the molding paste through that, and ended it again with another file folder with some more Tim Holtz paper. And then on the back, I had made a big pocket. I made, um, I'll have to show you guys this later because I didn't quite finish that. I made a big pocket, and then I made some more um, library open this up before I'm running out of time. I made a um, library pocket and then another one of those and out of the Tim Holtz paper I made a envelope. Isn't this cool? And all this kind of stuff like these envelopes and these library pockets stuff like this don't they look so cool? For one it's Tim Holtz paper but number two this is all my scraps so I got to use my scraps up making cool stuff like this and this can store extra pictures, memorabilia or whatever. So you have a lot of room in this with all these envelopes, whether they're the envelopes with, that open up or they're the library pockets to put your pictures and memorabilia in. So anyway, that is it. I'm about to run out of time. Um, I will show you this at another time and how to make this. This was really cool to make too. It holds a lot of pictures, but it's not done yet. So anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed to my station, I would love for you to do so. Um, also, check out my Etsy shop. It's www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com, and you can pick up some of these really cool metal embellishments. I have really good prices. Um, everything in that shop is between in my shop is between a dollar and two fifty, and you're getting seven eight pieces for that. So um, make sure you check out my shop. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe below. I would love it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye bye.